So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and I'm coming at you guys again today with another live commentary uh, similar to the previous video I made and this is something that I should have made and said I was going to make a long long time ago and that is all six secret message in the bottle loot location quests that you can find in Fallout 4 and just for those of you who don't know I basically started this as somewhat of a mini series on the channel uh, where I would individually show you each message in the bottle, kind of go through it and uh, show you guys. And I did three videos in total with three different locations. And my original plan back then was to do the rest of them into one video. Just do like, you know, instead of doing the rest of them individually, I'll just do a huge compilation video with all at six in one as kind of like a hub video that you guys can go to. And for whatever reason, I just didn't get around to doing it. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that for you guys today. And hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy it. So... Let's start off with the first one, and this is actually located over in Crater House in the northwest area of the map. If I do go ahead and bring up my map here for you guys, you can see we have the Museum of Witchcraft nearby, Hugo's Hole, Dormwich Borough just for reference, and by the way, my map is going to be a little bit different to yours, unless you are using the same map mod, but uh, hopefully you guys will get a general idea of where this actually is located. But once you're here, you want to head to the left side of it if you're all looking towards the east direction. Pretty much as you guys can see, I am. Uh, in the gameplay in the background if you head more towards the east side of it and keep heading down to the shoreline here there should be a tree that you'll notice is knocked down and just next to that tree is your first message in the bottle and it states trapped for days this is what i guess the original word for it is and if you go ahead and read that there it will stay i've been trapped in this boat for days there was some kind of tidal wave that came from the west it flipped us over looks like i'm the only one that made it if you can consider my current situation making it I somehow still have air to breathe, I, and then it just cuts off a little bit, and I believe that makes that to be, that means the boat must still, and then it just cuts off again, so, pretty interesting note there, but if we go ahead and take that, and then check in the inventory here, we should be able to get a map marker that pops up, telling us where to go, you'll probably have a little bit more fun if you don't do this, but just for a reference in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys that you can do this, and this of course will bring you out to the location of where this chest is, and presumably, where this guy died. I'm, I'm thinking that's pretty much where this guy died. I know for a lot of the message in the bottles, uh, when you're reading the notes, the guy who died right, or the person who wrote the note, is usually dead down, you know, with you. So if we go ahead and take a dive here, you should be able to find it. It's actually a piping system here as well. Should probably watch my radiation and pop a radix soon, but uh, we'll just get this chest down here first. Oh, we already found it. So it seems to be inside this boat that's kind of turned upside down. I believe that's his dead body there as well. Let's go ahead and get inside of there. Once again, the loot isn't too great, but it's just pretty cool. I mean, if you did all six of them and got all six of the, you know, the loot from the steamer trunks, you probably get, you know, you probably have a decent inventory, especially for you low uh, to mid end Fallout players, so or low to mid end playthroughs, you know, you know, through the games. So, I'm going to take all that stuff here now. You just saw as well that it did actually complete it, and uh, there's actually also I should probably have the Aqua Boy perk on. It would help a lot more. There's also a box in here as well, first aid kit or first aid box, and uh, there's the guy that died. But that's the first one. And now let's move on to the next one. So this next one's actually over by the Boston Airport, as you guys can see. Uh, there's the pretty wind, just for reference. You're probably going to want to teleport to the Boston Airport, though. Then you want to just come all the way to the edge right here, as if you're facing Fort Strong. Pretty much exactly uh, where you see I'm facing now, which is for reference again. There is the Boston Airport. And uh, we're pretty much right here by this tree again. And you'll find the second one here, which I believe is Need a Hand. So if you go ahead and take a read of that real quick. It states, I thought I ate a fish today. It didn't taste right. I then realized while writing this that I ate my own hand. I think I'm losing it. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's definitely losing it. I mean, if this guy is going to be eating his own hand off, he's definitely probably taking some taking some big drugs when they fall out. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one here. That was a pretty damn weird note there. And uh, this one, once again, should be a little bit far out. Shouldn't be too far out. And we'll take a dive down when we get closer. Just got rid of the radiation there as well. I should have probably took care of that before I actually did this. But then if we head down here, we should be able to find this one. It's very misty down here right now. Hopefully we can find it. I don't think it's that there. Oh, here we go. We found the plane. Presuming it's inside of this thing then. Go ahead and take a look inside. Probably up the stairs. Let's have a look. We got the first aid box here again. And oh, there it is. So we got the steamer trunk here once again. Here is the second one. So this one's actually inside of the plane that's crashed, I believe. And now uh, if we go ahead and take it all out again. Once again, nothing too special, but some of it is actually good. Um, especially for you once again, you know, mid 
to early game players out there. And that, my friends, is the second one. So the third one's actually located over at the castle again. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already been here before. Uh, just here on the map for reference, we have the Gwinnett Restaurant, we have the South Boston High School, Spectacle Island, and basically, if you go through the back entrance here of the castle, you'll see exactly where I'm going here now. And then head out just to the left, I have to hop over this thing here real quick. And I keep going round, you'll notice that the message in the bottle should be, once again, right here at the edge, just by the water. This one is actually Predator Becomes Prey. So let's take a read of this one again. It states, John was pulled out to sea. The fish was huge. I told him to tether the pole to himself, but he wouldn't listen. If only he hadn't put the keys in his pocket. So some very interesting stuff for these notes. Once again, this one takes us out here again. And uh, these are just pretty cool, you know? I mean, although the underwater areas in Fallout just aren't really used much, I do like these little kind of, you know, miscellaneous loot quest things that they take one. I just wish there was a lot more of this stuff. I wish there was kind of like structures down there and stuff and kind of hidden areas in the water, maybe even creatures as well um, that we could do. But uh, hopefully Far Harbor has that covered. I'm, I'm really hoping that Far Harbor does make a little bit more use of the underwater areas. And I guess that is something that we will have to wait and see. If we go ahead and dive straight down here, we should be good. Once again, I do need to watch my radiation levels here. I definitely suggest the Aqua Boy Park. In fact, let me go ahead and show you guys that here real quick. Probably should have done it uh, while I was up actually on top. But um, here we go. So Aqua Boy should be just down here. There it is. Or oh, Aqua Girl, if you're a girl, basically. And uh, pretty much, it'll just allow you to breathe underwater. So it's best that you probably get that if you do want to sort of explore the underwater areas or do this. Fortunately, I am on a character that doesn't have that. But of course, that is up to you there. And boom, presumably in this boat. Yep, yeah, we can already see it is where the next one is. So another boat one you can see here is the chest again and the unfortunate person who died here. And if we go ahead and take all the stuff out again, some general ammo, some weapons, some mines and stuff. Pretty awesome. All right, so this next one's actually in an unmarked location. It's a lighthouse just here in the southern area of the map. The best thing I can really explain to you guys is to fast travel to Poseidon Energy or go there pretty much. You'll see Poseidon Energy is just over there. And look out for this lighthouse. This is one of the kind of landmarks that you want to look out for. And just in front of the lighthouse, you'll notice a red boy. This is also another landmark or some, another object that you want to look out for when finding this. And just to the left of that is the message in the bottle. So once again, this one states, not going well. And this one reads, just I'm screwed. That's pretty much it. Definitely uh, no real story behind that one, but uh, let's go out and check this one out as well. And I believe this one I've actually done on the channel before. This is one of the first ones I covered. And uh, this one's really cool. I'm one of my personal favorites because it actually is inside of kind of like a secret underwater hatch, which I think it's pretty awesome. Once again, I do wish there was more of these in the map. But if we go ahead and take a dive down here, you should see a piping system quite low down. We should be coming across it here shortly. This one's actually quite deep. There's the piping system, as you guys can see. And just behind one of these pipes, or on the side of it, I believe, is it this one here? As you can see, here is the hatch. And this one is freaking awesome. You can open it up and go inside of it. I just wish there was more of this kind of stuff, dude. Once again, we have the first aid box, and then we have the steamer trunk again with some pretty cool stuff inside of it. And that, my friends, is the fourth one. So for the fifth one, you want to head out to the Macra fish packing plant, and this is pretty much in the northern area of the map, uh, as you guys can see here. Once again, for reference, we have Hugo's Hole just here. We have the Crater House, so it's not too far from the first one I showed you guys, Museum of Witchcraft, and you guys get a general idea of where this is located and from the front entrance of here if you go ahead and turn right and just keep heading down here you'll notice that the message in the bottle uh, once again it should be directly by the water i can already see it there as well it's poking out of the sand and if we take this one it's actually known as difficult to kill and give it a read it states come out to the coast we'll get together and have a few laughs and i do believe that this one is actually a reference to die hard so um, pretty much, once again from there, you go out to the water and collect the loot. I believe this one as well has the dead body in a bath, pretty much, which is kind of weird. You'll see here now uh, when we take a dive down, if I believe this is the one. Yep, as you can see, there is the actual chest. And we have the guy, or the skeleton, with a teddy bear on top of him, which is freaking weird. We have duct tape and gold flip plated lighters and stuff. Take the teddy bear as well, why not? And then we have, of course, the steamer trunk with all of the loot inside of it. Pretty much the same stuff, or it's very similar stuff to what you get in each one. But I mean, once again, at the end of it all, you'd actually have a pretty decent amount of loot from all six of these. And finally, for the last one, you want to head out to the Oceanological Society 
located right here on the map. We have Libertalia just here. We have, once again, Crater House, so not too far away again, just as a bit of a reference there. And for this one, it's pretty much, you know, from the house, you just want to head out to the right, and you want to go to this kind of little bit of a sand island, which, once again, is actually located on the map. I'll bring it up here real quick before I do accept it, which a mile should probably come out here as well. In fact, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and quickly remove my radiation and use a radix as well. Uh, just to make sure everything is good. There's a stim pack as well. And if we go ahead and show you guys that on the map, actually, you can see pretty much right around here is where I am located. Pretty much like that was Sand Island there, I believe, is uh, pretty much where it's supposed to be at. As you can see, Butcher Milux are going to come out as well. But if we go ahead and pick this one up, this one is known as X Marks the Spot. And this one states, I swear that treasure is real. They mentioned it on the television. I must paddle faster. So this guy was looking for treasure as well unfortunately he didn't find it or he did find it and ended up dying somehow and if we go out here again all the way this is actually the final one this is the final one listed anyway by the wiki and they are listed in pretty much order so we'll just keep swimming out here i believe we should take a dive here soon so if we start taking a dive right now this one shouldn't be too deep oh it's a lot deeper than i thought it was going to be just keep going all the way down. This one's actually very deep. This one's the deepest it's been. Down. And as you can see, here it is. Once again, we have the dead body, or presumably the guy who wrote this. We have the tool case there. And we have the steamer trunk. This one seems to have a little bit more on it. And that, my friends, is all six message in the bottle locations. These are just really cool things to do. In the underwater areas once again for those of you who have played fallout for a while you know the loot inside of here shouldn't be too valuable to you but maybe if you're you know once again an early game player who's you know just on your playthrough or just midway through your playthrough this may be something worth going to just for loot and just for the you know the value purposes of doing something pretty cool in the underwater areas i just hope that oh, i wish there was more of this stuff in the game and i once again hopefully for harbor will have that covered Anyway, let me know if you enjoy these live commentaries a little bit more. I do edit them a little bit, but it is just me kind of going into the game and recording everything live. I like doing these a little bit more. You know, I kind of enjoy doing it where I'm just kind of talking over me actually playing a little bit. So uh, do let me know if you do want to see more videos like this in the future by leaving a like down below. You guys have been smashing likes recently. The previous video I did on this got over 2,000 likes, which is freaking insane. So if we can try and match that again, that would be awesome. Once again, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.